What is going on guys? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And as you might have guessed by now, we are taking a look at the Slenderman mod. But good news, it has been updated to Minecraft 1.3.2, and they're currently trying these version 2 changes and tweaks, which is why I thought I would show it to you. But yeah, good news, we can now scare the crap out of ourselves in Minecraft as well. So, uh, first things first, we're going to take a look at the Slenderman himself, and oh, hello pig, and uh, take a look at some of the features that comes with him, because there are quite a few of them, so uh, what I'm actually going to do is, is move a little bit away from here, because they're quite noisy, so uh, if I pop him down here. So this here is the Slenderman, and uh, very, very creepy looking, I'm actually going to kill him, because, oh god damn it, where are you? You can only, oh god, he's got, he's got like Enderman properties, come here, come here. You can only kill him with a- Oh my god! He actually scared me! Where are you? There you are! For god's sake, why would you die? Oh, right. I will tell you about him in a second. There we go. Okay, so that is the Slenderman himself. Now, he is a very rare spawner in Survival World, so... As you might have, might have seen then, I spawned him with a Slenderman egg. However, if you're someone who likes to play, you know, survival mode or whatever, he has around a 3% chance of spawning per chunk, which is around 2 to 3 Endermen per biome. So they are pretty rare. Let me get rid of this spider. Um, yeah, they are fine. They're kind of rare, and they will also, on occasion, drop stuff, which are used to make these, these items here. So... Now uh, what we're going to do is just take a look at them. Uh, the actual item that they drop on occasion are the Chilled Souls, which can be crafted into uh, these fellas here, which is the Slender Mask, the Slender Suit, the Slender Pants, and the Slender Shoes. Uh, they are really, really strong in terms of an armor set. That's kind of what their preliminary sort of use is, I suppose. Primary use is. The word preliminary doesn't really fit there. But uh, yeah, they look creepy, which is kind of cool. Yeah, hello. And uh, as well as that, you can also make the Slender Sword, which is the other sort of powerful sword, I suppose. You can only kill them, as I said, with the, the Diamond Sword or the Slender Sword. However, you will need to kill some Slenderman before you can craft this sword. So if you're interested, all the crafting recipes are on the forum page, which is linked in the description below. So a few more details, I suppose, about the Slender mod itself. Uh, the Slenderman can appear and disappear randomly, uh, but he's always coming closer, which is really creepy. Uh, he can break torches, glowstone, redstone torches, and other light sources at will. So, you know, if you try and light up the darkness, he will come and, and ruin the party. Um, you can also open doors and trap doors, which is very creepy, so you can't really hide from it unless you're, you're very good at hide and seek. Uh, and he can only be killed, as I said, with the diamond or the slender sword. Now, we can also see you through transparent surfaces, so for example, water. I also think lava, but ice, glass, glass panes, iron bars, fences, and fence gates. So if you're going to run away from him, you're going to have to do it properly, otherwise he will keep coming for you. Uh, he now looks at you, he has added a blindness effect, so you know if you, you look at him directly then there might be a chance that you get sort of partially blinded for a little bit. Uh, he's uh, kind of, he's added the sort of arms, I mean, the, the design of the Slenderman itself has changed a little bit from, from some mods that I've seen, so I really like the look of the Slenderman in this particular version, it looks really cool. Uh, and as well as that, the Slenderman is three blocks tall, so if you don't want him to teleport in your house, you're going to have to make a house with two blocks tall, otherwise he'll come for you. Uh, but yeah, really cool mod. So, I've done the spawn eggs, this, that, and the other. Now, a few more of the other items just before we finish. This here is a soul stone, which has just been added recently into the development. Currently, it doesn't do anything to my knowledge, because if you break it, it will only give you a dirt block. So, I kind of think that this is still in development, or this is just made for adventure maps. Uh, I do know that the Slender Note itself is kind of acts like a picture, but it's used for adventure maps as well. So, you know, if you wanted to... Uh, do a Minecraft version of the game Slender, then you could put the notes up wherever you wanted. And as well as that, you also have the Henderson's Farm disc, which is really, really creepy bit of audio. Uh, if you stick that in a jukebox, it will talk. So, you know, these are the items currently found in La Mod Pack, but uh, it's an awesome mod, actually. I think everyone loves the Slender game uh, and the whole idea of the Slenderman. I played the Slender game and it just freaked me out because I, I, I thought it was all hype. I was like, ha, I can take this. I'm a real man. <laughs> and then I, I played it and I was quite scared. But uh, yeah, that is it for the Slenderman Spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've watched any of my videos, uh, I do loads more mod spotlights, let's plays, uh, you know, songs, parodies, all that kind of stuff. So if you would like to see anything more from me, it'd be awesome if you consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that would be really great. But yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching the video. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks and see ya.